Welcome to a TCEA remote learning video. Our topic is Master the Zoom Settings, What Every Presenter Needs to Know, Part 1. This two-part video will cover the master and individual settings for your Zoom meetings. Your facilitators for these two videos are Peggy and Jennifer. First thing I want to show you is how you can associate your picture with your account. Um, when you want to start controlling your own meetings, you need to create a Zoom account that's free or you have one that's associated with your school district. And you go to zoom.us and underneath the profile tab, you will have the ability to add a picture that's associated with your account. And what this does is when you are um, not wanting to show your video, you can um, use your picture that will be displayed when your video is turned off. All right. I am now going to share my screen and show some of the other setting accounts inside of Zoom. So you have three different tabs here inside of your Zoom account. And I'm looking, I've clicked on um, the settings over here on the left. And so I have a meeting tab, a recording tab, and a telephone tab. And so under the meeting tab, there are a lot of different um, settings that you can change. And we don't have time to go over all of them, but we want, I want to show you some of them that I think are important for you to consider. One of the first things that I think that you need to turn off as a teacher is to um, join before host. You don't want your students to be able to get into your account before you arrive. So just turn that feature off. The next thing that we want you to do, um, particularly in an educational setting, is that the private chat needs to be turned off. This will um, make sure that your students aren't carrying on a private conversation in the middle of your your lesson and also you it's a it's it's dangerous to allow kids to be doing that because you you don't know if there's bullying going on etc because we're going to set it up to where that there's a, um, a waiting room before your students enter to the classroom it's probably a good idea to turn on a sound when participants join or leave. Otherwise, they may be trying to get into your classroom and you may not see the participant list where it says that somebody wants to join and they may be in that waiting room too long. So you have the ability to turn on um, a, a little chime so that you know when somebody's there. The next thing that we think is important to turn off is the file transfer. In the chat feature, there's the ability for you and your students to upload files that other students can, can access. And that's a good feature. However, it can also be misused. And so we recommend that you turn it off. And then there is a way for you to turn it on individually. Like if a student says, well, Mrs. Berglund, I want to show you this picture that I drew. You can make them temporarily a co-host and then um, revoke that, um, that gives them ability to transfer the file, but then you can um, revoke that privilege um, after they have um, sh shared their file. Speaking of, one of the ways you do that is by making them a co-host. So we recommend that you turn on the ability for you to allow, temporarily allow other people to host a meeting with you. We also recommend that you allow your students to have a virtual background. And the reason why that I have, we've read um, why we think this is a good idea in an educational background. I know that there's the fear that they might put images behind them um, that would be inappropriate and you would have to deal with that. But it is a good practice because not all students want their 
where they live to be visible by all of their friends. Um, and it also allows if a parent or somebody's walking, you know, behind there, there's all kinds of distractions. So there is the ability to, to add a virtual background. We also think that um, you want to turn on the individual waiting room. And this makes it to where when students log in, they can't join. Um, even when you ask, even when you join the meeting as a host, they go into a waiting room and it requires you to, to allow them enter. Now, one of the, the things that this can become cumbersome if you have a lot of students. So we recommend that you temporarily make a student a co-host and then you allow them to enter, let their, their, the other students into the room and then you can take that co-host privilege away. All right, the last one that I want to mention that's in the main settings, it's under the recording. And this, um, you need to turn off local recording. Otherwise, students could record one of your classrooms and then they could share it and do all kinds of things with it. And that would break FERPA rules. So you need to turn off the ability for students to be able to record um, their videos. Okay, Peggy, I think you're now going to demo the mute and the stop video. Yes, these are two important participant controls that you will use a lot. So the first one is your mute, mute, unmute button. Click on the little carrot. And then way at the bottom, you'll see audio settings. So go ahead and click on that. We suggest that you turn on the last two. The first one is mute your microphone when joining a meeting. And the second one is to press and hold the space key to temporarily unmute yourself. So as a good rule of thumb, you should, everybody, student, teacher, if you're not speaking, mute your mic because that way you won't hear squeaky chairs and the rustling of paper. And a quick way to talk and, you know, be silent is to use that space bar to toggle, toggle your voice on and off. Okay, I'm going to demo this. I'm, push, I'm pushing down on the space bar and you can see the little microphone down at the bottom of the screen and it says temporarily unmuted. And then when I lift up my finger off the space bar, I will, it will revert back to being muted. All right, our second control is video. It's because so you can't hear Jennifer. So you're going to click on the little carrot, click on video settings. Now, the first thing that you're going to see is you're going to see your preview pane, all right? And that's so you can check out what you look like and your background. We suggest you turn on Touch Up My Appearance. Always display participant name on their videos because that's just common courtesy. And then turn off my video when joining a meeting because, again, you want to check yourself out before you, you go live in that meeting. All right, and that covers part one. We'll cover the rest of the dashboard in part two.